Today we're checking out the new Savello. What is this Savello called again? My main Aspero. 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 Look, I'm trying to make my head. Okay guys, what's up? We're checking out the new Savello Aspero and comparing it against the Gravel King, the check, 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 check point. It's James ruining my video, I'll edit that out. We're checking it against the Gravel King that is selling across America, which is the Trek Checkpoint. This the SL5 model, compared to the Aspero RX600. So both bikes come with the new GRX drivetrain system. Obviously it looks a lot cleaner, designed for ease of maintenance with gravel use. If you get, get really dirty or a lot of grime in there, it's gonna be a lot cleaner and easier to maintain, plus a lot less risk of damaging the plastic parts. Big benefit on the Trek checkpoint is the adjustable stranglehold dropouts as they call it. So you're able to actually adjust this to make a lower, longer reach of a bike and that will actually add a little more stability to it. As well as the Velo is obviously their rigid frame, some adjustments to allow for some comfort with the carbon fiber, but the Trek does have the ISO speed decoupler, which physically disconnects the seat post from the main frame allowing for more flexibility they say it works out to be about 11 millimeters of travel downside to track doing that is you have the standard seat mast as opposed to a standard seat post where you could install a dropper seat post which is kind of becoming a thing on gravel bikes but it's not huge cool thing about the Savello as well is they do come with the top two bag the Trek has the holes for it, but doesn't come with it. So it's kind of nice to see Savello throw that in. They, they both come with very similar rims. Um, nothing fancy going on here, both aluminum. The Savello will come with a Gravel King SK Sport with a 38C, whereas the Trek will come with the GR1 team issue, which is tubeless ready, and that is at a 40 seat. Trek as well has really decked out the checkpoint, allowing for lots of mount holes to it, so you're able to put rear racks and uh, front racks to really load up the bike itself. Whereas the Savello is going for the lightweight speed of things. Savello's putting the eastern surf on there so you get that nice wide gravel handlebar with the lowers being a lot wider than the uppers. Although the Trek sticks with their standard handlebar, that ISO speed one, so it does add an additional comfort to it. Underneath here is extra padding, but you are in a straight bar. Don't know how much benefit that would actually have. They do both have the hydraulic disc brakes with the Shimano RX400 calipers on it and disc brake system. Um, they're very similar bikes. Right, guys we're on our way home so as you've seen we've checked out the checkpoint sl5 compared to Savello rx600 there's some pretty similar features to it and then also there's a pretty big price difference
going over the differences with the Savello you do get the more gravel specific handlebar setup and that's about it with the checkpoint you get the adjustable geometry with the strangle hold making it a longer lower bottom bracket um, you get the ISO speed for comfort it's hard to beat the price point of the Trek I'm not a hundred percent sure where the value comes from you know the Savello is gonna be lighter how much I'll have to look up it's not gonna be a pound and even if it is a pound like that's still a big price difference between the two it's hard to re not recommend the checkpoint for value Savello though is Savello, you do have a lot of high-end value with it. So the Trek is hard to find its value for money. You are getting a really premium bike with lots of adjustment, great comfort, a huge range of options as to how you want to modify it compared to the Savello. But with the Savello, you do get that Savello touch that limited edition you're not gonna run into ready now with the same bike. mountain bike you get those crazy nice it's hard jobs, not to say the coat. value of the trek checkpoint is not isn't there like it's super great value you get a comfy bike you get really versatile you get the adjustable geometry guys finished the ride uh, ended up with a flat front tire so I had to roll it out pretty slow and about 1 psi in the tire um, tubeless saved me though so that's nice if you like this kind of video remember to like it subscribe and comment which is your go-to bike are you gonna pick the Trek checkpoint or are you gonna go for the Savello Aspero good luck